All right, and then it's going to bring you to this page where you're able to enter your daily budget. Now, I just put fifty dollars for an example, and I do recommend anywhere from fifty to a hundred dollars. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be spending fifty dollars on a daily budget for a brand new ad that you have no clue uh, on how it's going to perform. It's just used as a safety net. And a reason why I say this is because if you did a daily budget such as five dollars a day, you're really limiting yourself because what happens if you have a good ad? Um, that's performing very well and converting a lot of traffic to your website would you necessarily want to tell Google to stop bringing you all that traffic once you reach the five dollar mark of course not so another thing to remember is that with Google AdWords you're in com complete control uh, with this kind of advertising uh, you know it's completely opposite of you know paid advertising such as solo ads or or postcard marketing with Google AdWords you're able to on a daily basis to come in and check and see if you want to slow things down or put your whole your com campaign on a hold and uh, basically feed how much you want to spend and that's the power of Google AdWords so um, I would recommend just putting anywhere from fifty to a hundred dollars and monitoring it and seeing how it's doing and only feed it how much you want to spend so always make sure you're in control of that then you would go down here and uh, put your maximum cost per click bid uh, for this example I put 40 cents of course it's up to you and when you're done with that you would go down here to continue and what this page wants us to do is kinda go over and and just make sure that everything is reviewed and it's the way we want it as far as your campaign name the languages you chose um, the places you want to target your daily budget and also check to see if your display your name is gonna send it to the right destination that you want it to go so you can always open a new browser and kinda check it make sure everything's all right you can check your bid make sure that it's right your keywords so this is just a review and then when you're done reviewing it uh, you can go down here where it says how did you hear about it you can choose your options so I'll choose tip from a friend and then you would continue to billing and then it's gonna ask you uh, where you want to be billed to your your territory where you're at so you would go ahead and choose that me I'm gonna go ahead and choose the United States and your time zone and then you would click on continue and of course this is the last step on uh, how you want to pay so it's up to you of course this is all your option how you want to pay it and then you would click on continue and that's it and there you have your uh, AdWords campaign set up and ready to go and the last thing I want to mention is that when you do go in the back office of your AdWords campaign um, when I brought up about the broad matches and also the phrase matches and exact matches you're able to go in there and place different bids for certain keywords and I do want to give you a little tip you can use this for the exact match I would always bid higher due to the fact that of course it's the exact keyword that you want the phrase match you can always bid a little bit lower and of course the broad looser match um, I would choose to pick it a little you know bid on it a little bit less uh, due to the fact that it's going to bring up different results it might not be totally related to what you're offering inside your ad so I would always choose a smaller bid for that and um, that's just a small tip that you can use and um, I also wanted to mention that you know Google AdWords is all about testing you're never really gonna come off the bat you might get lucky and come off the bat with a really good ad that's performing and driving all kinds of traffic but most of the time um, you're gonna be finding um, you know little ways to tune up your ad and make it perfected uh, as, as you know as you go along so always remember that the better your keywords are the more your ads will be seen and the better your ads are the more your capture page will be seen and the better your capture pages the more your opt-ins you're going to receive and the better follow-up emails with your autoresponder the more sales you receive in the end and I wanted to leave you with that because I'm trying to show you that it's all a process you can have the best ad out there on Google but if you have a really horrible capture page it's not gonna work so it's all a funnel if you have a good ad a very compelling capture page that you're sending them to and it's all relevant and um, you have good emails to follow up with your prospects it's all gonna work in the end for you so once again Google AdWords is very powerful I hope this video helped